Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a care and setup video on the oscillated skink. This was a requested video, so let's begin. So the substrate I use is a mixture of Eco Earth and also the Forest Moss. Um, I keep the cage at about 30 degrees Celsius on a thermostat and I have a heat bulb in the cage. I also use uh, UVB uh, for the skinks, which also I found is quite good for them. They enjoy it. I use underneath, which they actually burrowed, as they are a burrowing species of skink, um, is a piece of slate that they'll actually lie on to bask on underneath the bulb as it gets nice and warm. Um, like I was saying, they are a burrowing species, so I keep the substrate reasonably deep. Um, and I also keep it dry as they do prefer uh, a dry substrate. I will spray it about once a week just to add a little bit of humidity like if it were to rain. Um, I keep a largish water bowl in one corner that I fill up every day for them to drink. Um, I haven't actually seen them drink from it yet but I imagine they do during the day. Um, I also have some cork bark in here for them to climb on, and also some rocks. Um, they do like to burrow everything I put in, so they don't really climb on it much. I've also got two plastic plant pots, well it was one plant pot that I cut in half, um, that they sometimes hide under, however their preferred area to hide is underneath the water bowl. They're not under there at the moment, they're probably hiding at the back. I also have a cardboard tube that they like to hide under and also use to actually catch their prey. Um, I'll see if I can find one for you guys. Um, I've got in here at the moment a male and female. They haven't bred yet. Um, however, the place I got them did say they had bred. Alright, you can see there's one just going off to the back corner. I don't really handle these guys. Um, they don't really enjoy it. Um, oh, there's the male just there. He's slightly bigger than the female. Uh, as for the diet of these guys, I feed them large crickets, um, Morio worms, or as they're called in uh, America, super worms. I will also feed them wax worms. Um, and also pieces of sliced egg. So there's the female. You can see her just burrowing down now. They are quite active predators. Um, they will actively hunt and catch their prey. I dust the live food items with a calcium supplement just to be much better for them to have that added calcium and more nutrients. Um, so they are really good pets. They're quite interesting if you want a more unusual species of skink. Um, they're not massively common around. Um, not many people I've seen actually keep them. And there's not actually that many videos on YouTube. Um, they will also eat as they're omnivorous other food items. So I actually feed these guys a hard boiled egg. They really enjoy that. Um, I also feed them kale. And they will eat some rocket and dandelion flowers and leaves. Um, as you can see there is some dried pieces of kale from uh, earlier today that's dried up under the heat. Um, apart from that they are extremely easy to keep. Um, they can be handled however I do believe mine may actually be wild caught. So they don't enjoy handling really. I've handled the male before he used to be handled reasonably regularly but um i'm trying to breed them now so i'm letting them sort of just relax and hopefully they will breed uh they are a live bearing species so they're not too hard to breed and you don't have to worry about incubating the eggs so thanks for watching the videos guys if you liked like the video and subscribe for more videos that i am now uploading every week thank you